Surf is decreasing while VOG levels slowly increasing tomorrow. And that's because by tomorrow night, we could see those trade winds be gone from the islands for the next several days. But overall, windward showers and windward uh, sites are still going to be focused of any shower activity that will be moving through leeward to a lesser extent. Although, as the trades are gone, we'll probably see an increase in clouds and showers for those leeward spots later this week. Across the state right now, 79 Honolulu, 78 Kailua Kona, a bit cooler for areas such as Lanai City at uh, 70, but 75 for Kahului, Lihue, as well as Hilo. So, a lot of the moisture that was moving through the Big Island the past several days that triggered that flood advisory. That has now moved to the east of the state, and there's a lot less rain coming into the islands. But this nearby storm system, which is a storm front, and it's weakening fast, it's still close enough to eject the trade winds starting late tomorrow, and that'll be, that'll be light and variable winds for the state, at least through the upcoming weekend. And as you can see right now, there's not much rain moving through the islands. The helo sides of the Big Island finally getting a break from that nonstop rain. Most areas have been dry today outside of a stray windward shower or two. And we're still going to see windward showers roll through the islands. Much of the moisture is now far to the west of the islands, but by tomorrow, again, those windward showers could return to the islands before it starts drying up by Friday and into Saturday. Elevated surf still for the east side, but it's not high enough for a high surf advisory. Five to seven, two to four, maybe no more than three footers for the west and the south shore. Here's how it pans out from here on out. Tomorrow we'll transition to southeasterly winds and then completely variable starting Friday. And that means VOG levels could be increasing through the upcoming weekend. It does not look like the trades will return in a week's time, and this is because another storm front is due around Tuesday or Wednesday. So we'll have to live without the trades for now. It's either light and variable or southerly winds through the middle of next week. All right. Thanks, Jess. You're welcome, Joe.